team, hello, welcome back to another episode of Due North and this time I'm actually heading south again. Um, I need to make a decision. So just to explain briefly uh, to anyone that isn't aware, Brexit happened and that means that my passport is not as valuable as it used to be. So I can't be in the Schengen area for more than 90 days at a time and I'm on day 88. So I need to make a decision about whether to go back to the UK or whether to head out of the Schengen area to the other direction towards the Balkans and um, starting with Croatia. So I put this out on Facebook in the Facebook group group for the um, June North series and the answer was an overwhelming Balkans. So <laughs> let's go. sketchy I'll come to that in a second this morning I uh, I went to see some bears uh, a, a cool sort of bear rescue center a refuge where they look after bears that were pets or in bad zoos or orphans that they've come across and they've got a few bears there and um, it was nice it was nice to see the way they looked after it's not on like uh, Google you can't buy a ticket and it's run by volunteers one of which was from the UK, from Leeds, and the other ones uh, that were there were Croatian uh, and German. Anyway, so I'm looking for a, a place to stop, and I asked for recommendations on the Facebook group, Dave and Coffee Fernway, and um, Plidvik Lakes was on there, and I've been there before, but it'd be cool to go back and see it again, get it from a new perspective, and get it in the winter. And so I'm looking on Park for Night for places to stay, and Croatia is not great for wild camping or you know, sleeping in a van somewhere. Um, and where I am right now is right on the border, right on the border, sorry, with Bosnia and Herzegovina. And so there is a lot of immigration traffic, refugee, asylum seeker type traffic. So there's police everywhere. So I found this place on Park for Night, which is here in the woods. Let me get out and show you. Now, it's not level and it's really sketchy <laughs> this is the spot this is it and uh, there's a lot of tree coverage there's a lot of snow on the ground and it's a dead end road so I just drove all the way up there and there was nowhere to turn around so I reversed all the way back to that spot there Rever uh, turned around there and now I'm facing the right way so there <laughs> this is where I am um, I'm also going to point out that there are wild boars, European brown bears, and wolves. 
amongst other things. And I'm in the forest. This is in the forest. Let's do a little 360. So no. I am not sleeping there. It is sketchy. Seriously sketchy. So I'm going to go find a campsite. This place is nice though. I'm just not going to stay here.
team. Croatia is um, it's pretty cool actually. I'm sat by the side of the road. Uh, this week has been different to normal because I've got a whole load of work to do. So I've been spending a lot of my time doing that. I've also had a lot of things on my mind. So I've been processing some stuff. And uh, now I'm sat by the side of the road having just written three articles thinking about um, emailing a pitch to National Geographic because I can't think of a reason why not to. So I'm gonna do it, see what happens. It's worth a shot. I'll probably never hear from them, but it's worth doing it. This is, you have to set yourself up with big goals, big ambitions. Um, the past couple of days has been pretty cool. I've found this abandoned military base built by the Yugoslav army during the Cold War. And then it became a training base for the Croatian Special Forces. Have a look at this. I moved away from there this morning. Um, I had a little explore, as you can see with these videos. Um, I had a little look around and I'm driving south down the coast now. I'm heading towards Split and the, the plan is to get into Bosnia-Herzegovina next. So we'll see how that goes. But I've still got some work to do, so I'm going to smash that out. And uh, yeah, let's see what happens there. Waking up to my heartbeat Accompanied by the rain The soreness in my eyes Is not very surprising This room is still uncharted But as soon as I get started I'll send you an SOS I'll wave like it's nobody's business Give me some time to breathe Give me some time to speak Cause I know the truth inside and I promise you this time No more vow No more strange Stupid games Just one motto No more pain All in vain Let your guard down Call my name When you need a friend No bravado No bravado Got where to go You're left without warning And now you're ignoring me So what about us? What about all we had? Just send me an SOS I'll run to you faster than a lightning Give me some time to breathe Give me some time to speak Cause I know the truth inside I promise you this time no And now, after a little bit of exploring and a bit of, well, a lot of work and a little bit of getting my head together, I'm making my way down the coast. It's completely off season. I've seen a couple of other vans and that's it. All the campsites are closed. So I'm wild camping and uh, finding some pretty cool spots to just have a little look at nature, which is nice. Uh, the, you can tell from my hood, I guess, that the wind has seriously picked up. Um, it's been blowing a gale and the clouds are rolling in. So, with that... I'm going to get myself back to the van, make a little bit more progress, and team, please, smash those buttons. Tell me if you like the video in the comments, where you think I should go next. And remember to always, once in a lifetime, as often as you can. See you next week.